The first injury report NFL teams had to submit to the league revealed on Wednesday that it has been a shoulder injury that has kept Devontae Parker from practicing regularly, and that Albert Wilson is nursing a quadriceps injury. Parker, who has practiced sparingly in a red non-contact jersey since training camp, and Wilson each participated in Wednesday's practice without limitations, which is a sign that they could be cleared to play in Sunday's season opener against the New England Patriots. But it is possible that their injuries could limit their usage and roles. The injury report also revealed that Preston Williams, who suffered a left foot Lisfranc injury last November, still hasn't made a full recovery. Williams, a starter the past two years, had his participation limited during practice, as did rookie offensive lineman Liam Eichenberg, who is nursing a thigh injury. Parker, who has started 56 of the 83 games he's played for the Dolphins, has led Miami in receptions the past two seasons. He's mostly battled soft tissue injuries throughout his six-year career, but that doesn't seem to be the case with the shoulder. As for Wilson, he had a dynamic start to training camp, consistently delivering big plays during the first few days of camp. But then got abruptly shut down because of the injury. Wilson, who opted out of playing last season because of the COVID-19 pandemic, didn't participate in any of the Dolphins' joint practices or preseason games, possibly with the hope that a month off would help the quadriceps injury heal. With Will Fuller suspended for the first game of the 2021 season to complete the six-game suspension received last year for PED use, it appears that Jalen Waddell, the sixth pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, Mac Hollins, and Jakeem Grant are the only receivers on the 53-man roster who are fully healthy. Because three receivers are not enough to make it through an NFL game don't be surprised if Parker, Wilson and or Williams participate in Sunday's game on a limited basis. The Dolphins could also elevate one of the team's practice squad receivers, Kirk Merritt or Brandon Powell, before Sunday's game if there is a need. Practice squad players can participate in NFL games without having to be placed on the 53-man roster because of the NFL's new CBA rules, which allows the elevation of two per week to the game day roster. The Dolphins also got two spots to elevate players as COVID-19 replacements with offensive tackle Austin Jackson and tight end Adam Shaheen on the COVID-19 reserve list, but one of those spots has already been used for defensive back Jamal Perry, a core special teamer.